Thank you for tuning in to learn about cover letters, what they are, why you should include one with your resume when applying for jobs, and how to write a, a well-written one. You may ask yourself, what is a cover letter and why do I need one? A cover letter is a letter that accompanies your resume and introduces you and your qualifications to the potential employer. Be certain that you include the letter and the be certain that you include in the letter the position that you are applying for and why you are qualified for the job. Your cover letter can explain things that your resume cannot, like gaps in your employment history, why you're re-entering the job market or changing jobs. It can also show how your skills and experience directly relate to the position's needs. Make sure that you tailor the resume to each job that you are applying and that you address the letter um, to the specific person as possible. So also make sure that you tailor the cover letter to each job that you're applying for as well. All right, so over the next few slides, we are going to discuss tips on how to write a cover letter. So every cover letter has a certain format that you should follow. If you look on the right hand side of the screen, you will see an example of a cover letter. Please pay cl close attention to the following layout. You should notice the following in the cover letter on the screen. So you should see a date, a company's address, salutation, introduction and summary, and then a closing. So you can kind of see that here, date, Salutation, introduction, closing, things like that. Um, make the cover letter personal. Do your research and try to find the correct person to address the cover letter to. Try to avoid using dear hiring manager or to whom it may concern unless you have no other options. Use the same letterhead that you will use for your resume. For one, this keeps your files looking nice and neat, but it will also eliminate contact information in the body of your letter. Keep your cover letter to one page, and within the first sentence or two of your cover letter, make sure that you state your objective on why you're writing the letter. And you can see here that we've got some examples. Um, your letterhead, which again, guys, we can help you with this in Career Connections. We can get your letterhead on your resume and on your uh, cover letter to look the same. And then again, you can see a little introduction summary um, while somebody's writing this letter to the person. Okay, make certain that you show off your knowledge about the company. This will not only help you with your cover letter, but will, uh, this will also help when you land the interview. Uh, go to the company's uh, About Me page or their mission statement to learn more about the company. Also make sure that you do your research on similar positions to familiarize yourself with the position, type, and the industry. So I'm going to give you all a great website to use if you've never, um, if you've never used this site before. It's called careeronestop.org. Um, and this is a great website that you can use, you know, to look up different types of jobs, to look up, you know, the industries and things like that. Uh, but you can all learn, you can learn all sorts of things from this website. So for an example, if you were looking for, let's say, a nurse, then we'll go with nurse practitioner since that's what popped up. But you can learn about what a nurse practitioner is. You can see different types of job openings in this field. Um, annual salary. Now, again, this is based off of nationwide, but you can make it um, where you can narrow it down to the region or the counties that you're looking in. So if y'all want help with that, please come to Career Connections and we can help you with that over there. We can show you how to use the site. Um, if you're thinking about maybe going into a certain field, but you're not exactly sure that that's what you want to go into, again, this is another good website because it'll show you videos like a day in the life of a nurse practitioner, just so you can kind of see what it's going to be like. So, um, other things that you can see on it is, you know, like projected employment, which we've talked about whether or not it's, if it's going to be a bright outlook, so if there are going to be jobs in that industry or field once you graduate, and then again, like your typical wages, which you can look for um, starting out, like your median wage, and then again, high, high range. So 
I'm over here. Okay. In your cover letter, show the hiring manager you have what they are looking for. A great cover letter format to use is called a T format or a targeted cover letter format. Please look at the image on the screen. This is uh, from a targeted cover letter format. You can see that it shows bulleted points from the job description under the your requirements. So here, um, heading and under the my qualifications heading, it shows what this person has done in their work history that makes them qualified for the position. So again, you can see that these would be bullet points under the your requirements from the job description. And then under my qualifications, what your qualifications would be. And these two would match up. So provide direction, lead customer service, so on and so forth. So they would, they would match up. Um, and again, we can help you set up a targeted cover letter in Career Connections. So on the right of the screen are examples on how to close the cover letter. So in your closing paragraph, remind the employer of how you are, your interests, abilities, and your skills will benefit the company. Tell the employer that you look forward to hearing from them. Make sure that you add sincerely above your signature. And make sure that you sign the cover letter in black ink. So right here is where you would actually hand sign the cover letter before you send it off. So read, reread, and read some more. What I mean by this is to review your cover letter. Give your letter to a friend or a family member. Bring it to Career Connections so staff members there can review it. Or take it to the Writing Center so they can uh, review it for grammar and punctuation. Okay. Next, I'm going to go over a few formatting tips uh, with you to help you on your cover letters. So your length, you want to try to keep that to one page. Uh, write one paragraph of introduction, one to three paragraphs to highlight your skills, and one paragraph for conclusion. Spacing, uh, make sure that you single space your cover letter. Leave a space between the address and dates in the heading. Leave a space between your heading, contact information, and greeting. Leave a space between, your, um, between each paragraph. And leave at least three spaces between your closing, so where you type sincerely, and then where you type your name. And that's so you can you know, include your signature in there. Um, and then your margins and alignment. Uh, generally, we use a standard one-inch margin, and then align all paragraphs to the left of the page. Uh, here's a few more tips. So tip number one is only put about three paragraphs on the page, which we've already talked about. So like your introduction, your skills and qualifications, and then asking for the interview in the last paragraph, which is also reminding them why you would be a good candidate for the job. Number two, keep each paragraph to about three or four well-written sentences. Uh, number three, allow your text to breathe by including plenty of white space. This means big margins and double spacing. I generally say about a single space between, but depending on how long your resume or your cover letter is, you can potentially double space between paragraphs. Um, number four, create bullet points and numbered lists to help readers scan quickly. Number five, occasionally use bolding to emphasize important points and to increase readability. But don't overdo this. Don't use it too much. Just a few important lines throughout uh, your cover letter to break things up. Number six, make sure that you proofread your cover letter and correct spelling, grammar, and punctuation. This may seem like an obvious one, but if it's not handled, it can ruin any chance that you have of landing an interview. And then number seven, Double check your contact information and don't forget to hand sign the letter. So again, guys, here's an example of what a cover letter can look like after you have completed writing one. Uh, you will notice that it has all the parts that we spoke about earlier, the date, company's address, salutation, introduction and summary, and a closing. This is just one example of what a targeted uh, format can look like. So, and again, if you come to Career Connections, guys, we can help you set this up. Um, even if you just want the format and you want to go home and work on it and then email it back or come back and see us, we'll be happy to, to work with you on this. So, something else I always say is make sure that you thank them, you know, after you go to an interview. 
it's always a good idea to send a thank you letter um, after you go to an interview. So try to get everybody's contact information. So you can either send them a handwritten letter or an email thank you. So here's just a few um, statistics for you. So employers said that sending a thank you note, you know, out of the employers surveyed, 35.8% uh, of them said that it always helped. 42.4% uh, said it helped decide between candidates. And then 18.8% said that it didn't matter. So if you need help writing a thank you letter, you're welcome to come see us again. We'll be happy to help you with this as well. So uh, again, just letting you remind you of our hours. Uh, I will tell you that right now for the month of February, the hours are slightly different. So here on the Hudson campus, we are still here uh, Monday and Tuesday, 8 until 7. Wednesday and Thursday, 8 until 5, and right now for the month of February on the Hudson campus, we are closing at 12 noon on Friday, so 8 until 12 noon. And right now on the Boone campus, we are only there um, Mondays from 9 till 4. Uh, but if you need to schedule an appointment with any of us, we will be happy to do that with you, set up an appointment. So do you all have any questions or anything we can help you with? Uh, Jimmy just included in the chat box um, the form that he needs you to fill out for attending today's session, how, how we did, if there's anything else that you need us to go over. But if y'all have any questions, please, you know, turn your mics on, ask a question, or, or type it in the chat box. Sarah, I have a comment more than a question. Okay, go for it. So for the students that um, are curious, should they have a cover letter or not, uh, a couple things you need to consider is that some jobs require that you have a cover letter. Some of them, actually most of them do not. Um, but I still am a big advocate of the cover letter because it helps you explain a little bit more things that might not have been uh, well explain or you couldn't really well explain it in the resume because again the resume you want to keep it as tight as possible you don't want to have too many pages so the cover letter uh, allows you to expand a little bit more um, if any of you guys are getting ready to graduate or even if you're not getting ready to graduate and you're starting to look for employment um, again, come see us. We're more than happy to help you work on your cover letter and on your resume. And if you missed uh, the resume power or presentation that we did a few weeks ago, that is listed on our website. You're welcome to go view that. Um, but if y'all don't have any questions, we are finished for the day. So just make sure that you, one, sign in, and two, that you fill out the survey at the end that Jimmy posted. And don't forget to go pick up your goodie bag and tune in again on Thursday for uh, our counseling workshop for Love Your Job.